Welcome to Nerdgasm, everyone. What's going on? Today we're going to be talking about Young Justice Season 3. Can you guys believe we're finally getting to Season 3? Come on, that is the best news. That is some of the best news that we've had this year, guys. Young Justice Season 3, we needed this. We need this for our souls. And this is going to be really good. Because as you can see from this character roster of some of the people going to be on the team, it's going to be great. So first we have Static. If you don't know about Static, he is a kid from Dakota. He has lightning powers. He used to be part of the comic book universe called the Dakotaverse, and then he moved into the mainstream DC universe. He was on the Teen Titans, he's fought Deathstroke and his daughter, he's done a bunch of stuff. He was in the New 52 for a little while, and then his series got cancelled, unfortunately. And he also had an amazing, I, I say this, amazing TV show in the 90s. If you haven't seen it, guys, go watch it. It's called Static Shock. It was amazing. It was one of those shows that really hits on the important topics that you know, bother lots of people, stuff that hit a lot of people in a personal area that just kind of, you know, inspired for a cartoon. It was great. Then we have Bart Allen as Kid Flash. Remember what happened to Wally West? He's gone. It's sad. It hurt my feelings. But Bart Allen is the new Kid Flash. If you guys don't know, if you're just one of those people who watch the movies and the cartoons and the live action TV shows, Bart Allen does become Kid Flash in the comic books after he stops being Impulse. Wally West becomes the Flash. Bart Allen becomes Kid Flash. So this is, you know, in tune with the comic books. If you didn't know, I know some people don't know. And he was actually really amazing as Kid Flash. He was on the Teen Titans. He traveled to the future and fought with the Legion. He did a lot of amazing things that Wally and Barry never did as Kid Flash slash The Flash. Then we have Robin. I'm pretty sure this is still Tim Drake. I don't think this is Damien. I'd love it to be Damien, you know, Batman's son. If you don't know, Damien Wayne is Batman's biological son because Talia roofied his ass and then had her way with the Bat-D. <laughs> she she raped Batman. That's not cool. That's not cool. But I don't think it's Damien. I think it's uh, Tim Drake again. Then we have Wonder Girl. We saw her last season. You guys know about Wonder Girl. She works with Wonder Woman. There's not really a lot to say about that. The next character some people didn't know. Her name is called Spoiler. Spoiler's real name is Stephanie Brown. She has had a few different alter egos in the past. She was Robin for a hot minute with Batman. She was Batgirl. And currently in the Prime Universe, you know, after Barry stuck his dick in the timeline and did the whole thing with Flashpoint, she is now Spoiler again. She's worked with Batgirl. She's worked with the other people in the Bat family, including Batman. She's worked with a lot of female superheroes, a few female sidekicks. Um, but she's done a lot. And she is an amazing combatant. I mean, she is right up there deserving to be in the Bat family. They don't use her as much as they should, but she is a great character, and I really hope they do her justice on the show. Then we have Blue Beetle. Remember, season two was largely revolving around Blue Beetle and the Reach, so you guys probably already know about him. The character next to him is called Thirteen. Her name is Tracy Thirteen. She is another magic user. She's kind of like Zatanna, but instead of saying words backwards and being one of the most powerful magicians in the world, she uses something called urban magic, and then she taps into the knowledge and power of cities. Literally, like, her power comes from the city, so that's why it's called City Magic. Next to her, another character you might not know, this person is called Aeronet. You can see the arrow symbol on her chest. It's exactly like Artemis's, except her outfit is red. Her real name is Suzanne King-Jones. She's not related to Green Arrow. I don't think she's going to be introduced as Green Arrow's niece again, just like Artemis was. But it would be funny to see him introduce another archer as his relative. In the comic book, she was actually on the Young Justice team, so this is going to be great for her to finally come back. She has no superpowers, same thing as Artemis, she's just a great archer. She's actually an Olympic level archer, so that's going to be impressive to see. Acrobatics, hand-to-hand -hand combat, she has a bunch of trick arrows just like Green Arrow, so it's going to be fun to see her. Here's the thing that you may not know though. Her character as a little girl was introduced in Season 1, Episode 23, so we've seen her, which means this is going to be great because I love it when they have characters that we've already seen be introduced into the team, kind of like how they did with Duncan and Bumblebee. We didn't see them in season one a lot, but then we saw them in high school, and then we got to see them in season two. He became Guardian, she became Bumblebee. It was very romantic. I loved it. And then after that, we have Arsenal, who I'm surprised is even on this picture because he got kicked out in season two. You guys remember that? When he put everybody in danger in episode 17, The Hunt, and they just kicked his ass out. And last, we have Beast Boy. You guys know all about Beast Boy. There were some really important episodes with him in season one and season two, so I'm not going to go into detail about him. But this is going to be an amazing season, guys. This roster is great. New characters, plenty of new characters for people to just like be mind blown. Characters that aren't well known enough, like Static, to finally get some recognition. Wonder Girl does not get enough recognition either, and neither does Arsenal, so that's going to be great. And there is one more picture. Some people were confused about who this was. They thought this was Aqualad. 
This is not Aqualad. This is Black Lightning. It was confirmed to be Black Lightning. Aqualad, remember, does not have black colored hair. His hair is kind of like bleached, kind of like a weird eye zombie type thing. So this is not him. This is Black Lightning. Black Lightning will appear this season because he said that he would mentor Static. But then the other two people on the left are Superboy and Artemis inside like Black Ops clothes. And then obviously the person all the way on the right is Superboy. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the show. Let me know if you have any questions about the season. Let me know if you guys would just want to see videos like comic book videos about a certain character. I can put it in the Nerdgasm quickie section. We can learn about each character, Arsenal or Aeronet, any of them. Let me know. I, I, I honestly would love to do <laughs> I smile about this. I would love to do this, guys. I love talking about the comic book videos. And if I'm being honest, I have way more fun doing the comic book videos than doing like breakdowns. So let me know if you guys want to see specific characters from Young Justice. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. Share the video so people can learn about the Young Justice team and they know what's going on, they know what's what, and they know some of the new characters. And I will see you guys in the next video. You're awesome. Goodbye.